Why is it that a five percentage point change in retention leads to enormous differences in profits and growth? And remember, retention is just one of the four building blocks of profitable growth. Well, one thing that I've found useful, if you're in a baseball, it's not very useful if you're from a non-baseball country, but a, a good hitter is going to hit 275. For some reason, they use 1,000-point scales in baseball, but a 275 hitter is not going to go to the all-star game. It's just fine. If you're a 325 hitter, you're a superstar. Um, it's, it's worth millions, billions. Um, it probably means you took steroids at some point in your career. <laughs> but that's 5%. You know, it's, it's disguised because it's 1,000, but that's the difference between hitting 27.5% of the time versus 32.5% of the time. 5%. In batting, because you're doing it, I don't know, a thousand times a year, how many at bats do you get? A lot. Um, it's probably like five or six hundred. This notion of small percentage changes in a cumulative setting, I don't think the human brain was set up to intuitively understand that. For, it just, you know, but this is what's going on customer retention, word of mouth, all of these issues, they're day in, day out, cumulative effects, and small percentages accumulate into enormous differences.